Greetings, Elder Blacklight. Once again, keep on throwing them jabs, right? Get ready for the hook, though. But dig this. Tyreek, Nasheed, and Tahaka Bay don't know nothing about this kind of history I'm getting ready to bestow on you right now. A brother just laid it on the supreme wisdom. Uh, Mark Mark. It's in the Supreme Wizard's Lesson book. But I heard my uncle talking about, about this uh, before. Check this out. General Mark Mark. General Mark Mark told his followers, or army, that because they are the ones who fell victim to the devil's tricks and did kill and hurt each other, they must pay for such actions by sitting down in Asia Minor and keep the devil bottled up in the cold caves and hillsides of Europe. Every time a devil would try to ease out the caves, off their head went. After a while, the Turks used to go across the border just to take their heads. Many of the devils went deeper into the caves where they killed animals who lived there and ate them raw thus moved in their caves. The caves of the animals were not tall enough for them to stand upright so they began to bend down after a while they got used to it and their arms began to grow to balance their back. Hair grew all over their body because it was cold and nature clothed them with a coat of hair like the animals. The caveman ate all the smaller things found and cast their bones outside the caves where jackals, or what we now call dogs, lay proud for them. The bigger animals began to move closer to the caves to eat the caveman for there was no food for them to eat. The devils ate all the food up from the bigger animals, so these became the hunter of man. The jackals who were always outside waiting for bones became the white man's best friend because every time a big beast would come near the cave they would bark warning the caveman of danger. Some devils lived in trees and other uncivilized places. The dog soon became one of the caveman's family and now lived indoors. The dog was to watch the caves while the man was out hunting for food. The messenger teaches the Caucasian man and woman were walking on all fours using stone tools, eating raw meat with blood running out and eating their dead. While the man was out hunting the dogs used to like and smell the woman's wound which the woman liked because of its stinging sensation. She began to love the dog because of the attention it gave her while the man was away. The caveman learned the way of the dog and began to lick and suck the wound. The messenger also added that the dog began to have sex with the woman which was very easy for them being that the woman walked on all fours like the dogs themselves. The dogs began planting their seeds in the woman causing the woman to birth mutations. The messenger says these mutations were white babies which had tails and the color of dogs hair eyes. Their hair was blonde at first. All types of disease originated at this period such as the common disease syphilis, which comes from dogs, as any doctor can tell you if he knew the American Medical Journal. If the disease comes from a dog-type life, this tells us to ask ourselves how many of us come to get it. The cave woman was filled up with syphilis and all kinds of deadly germs, which spread and spread. When Musa came to the border and entered the mainland, he was unable to go up into the caves, because filth and waste covered the land, and he was unable to enter to perform his said duty. Musa had to use the pig to eat the filth and waste before he could go in. Note, the history of Musa shall tell you the complete ordeal of the prophet this lesson shall deal with a certain portion of history. Thanksgiving, which is a white race holiday, the messenger teaches that this holiday is all symbolic to what took place in General Monk Monk's time. The white man tries to trick us into believing that when he came to America they met the Indians with gifts. But the white man, when he came to America or the New World, he went to look for food. When they saw a turkey, it reminded them of the Turks who wore the red fez with a tassel hanging down their heads, which was loose meat upon the turkey head. This is why they named the bird turkey. The white man would take this bird and chop off its head. It was symbolic to what General Monk Monk's followers, the Turks, would do to them. This turkey was General Monk Monk's followers. Asia Minor was called Turkey because the Turks that had the key locked them up in the caves and hillsides of Europe. The devil was not really actually let out of the caves until 1492. The opening of the New World allowed them to come to complete rulership.
Salam Alaikum. So now you know where germ warfare come from. Now you know where uh, COVID-19 come from, really came from. Come from the disease Caucasian, which is back to vibrations. It vibrates at a certain vib uh, vibratorial pitch. The Hakka Bay and them, they can't, they don't know what they're talking about, man. But y'all, y'all think they do. They only know the history that the Caucasian gave them. If your slave master don't treat you right, what make you think he's going to teach you right? And he uses our people to keep us deaf, dumb, and blind. I'm black light. Telling the truth and passing the mic. Truth should be told and not sold. Sugar is sugar, salt is salt. If you don't dig me, it ain't my fault. Assalamu alaikum.